Hi, uh, another short video. Um, today we are looking at the Tilt 5 augmented reality glasses. Um, I backed them when the Kickstarter campaign was running and uh, a few weeks ago they finally showed up and I thought I'll give you a quick overview. There are already uh, a few videos out uh, on YouTube like uh, from Dave from EAV blog and so on. So I tried to make that quick and focus basically on my impression how that looks like. So let's uh, open up the box, have a quick look at the content and then I try to uh, record video through the glasses uh, and, and hope that works and uh, you get an impression what this thing can do. Okay, let's have a quick look what comes in the box. We have the game board. This is the XE version, which is a bit longer and allows to be angled up at the back with two additional cardboard stands. Um, then we have obviously the glasses, a custom USB cable, the wand, a small keychain thingy with a microfiber cleaning cloth, and um, USB-C to USB-A adapter so that you can hook up the glasses to uh, machines with a USB-A minimum 3.0 port. This is the wand in detail. Um, color is I think silver gray. Um, it's very close to white so it's not uh, untrusted color. So it's a very pleasant color. I think I'm happy with my color choice here. Okay, what do we have? Joystick with button, button one, button two, pairing button for Bluetooth, normal controller buttons like in any other gamepad, X, Y, A, B. On the back side we have another fire key and I think maybe the tip of the wand has an infrared uh, LED that is also used for tracking. I'm not sure at the moment. I don't see anything on the camera Maybe when I've uh, hooked it up to the laptop, we can check if that is the case Okay, and here we have uh, the glasses with the two micro projectors at the bottom that project out the image onto the retro reflective surface and then it is as it says reflected back and goes straight into your eyes so um, I think a big part of the magic and know-how happens in this uh, seemingly, seemingly unimpressive glasses so that uh, the efficiency is good um, and that it doesn't uh, mess up the polarization otherwise uh, your stereo effect will, <laughs> will not be good. Um, right. What else can I say about this thing? It's supposed to have stereo speakers. When I tested it, I only heard audio on one side. Um, maybe some firmware bug that still needs fixing. Uh, there's a small cooling fan in here. Um, you hear it, but it's at least when you get this thing brand new, it's not annoying, so not screeching or anything. So no problem. And here on the left side, the uh, USB cable slides in. Right, so I myself wear glasses, so I have to wear glasses on top of glasses and that is not very uh, convenient. So maybe um, I think uh, in the Discord forum of Tilt5 I already saw people who have replaced these nose pad thingies with uh, some different version that works better with uh, glasses. Maybe I have to try that as well. So let me get the laptop and then I try to film through the glasses and give you an impression um, about uh, the quality and how it looks like. I um, also installed uh, the Unity SDK so we can have a quick look at the SDK. Um, I haven't done anything with that. I just managed to install a uh, the software so we can um, look at the available controls in the SDK and uh, how easy or not easy it is to write your own games or application. 
Okay, so I don't know how well that works. I'm just holding the uh, mobile phone directly behind the glasses. Um, so you can see when I lean here on the left side and on the right side that the, the head tracking is really absolutely superb. So that works very well. Um, the brightness is also okay, I think. The only thing, but this is uh, my personal impression, is that of course we could do with more resolution, but you can always do with more resolution, yeah? So this is 720p um, resolution per eye. Um, it's uh, perfectly usable, but of course uh, more would be better because if you at least uh, I have the impression that it gets a bit blurry sometimes. Okay, obviously here the start key is blurry by design. But um, yeah, maybe it's the texture of the retroreflective surface. I, I was somehow um, hoping for more sharpness. So I don't know, maybe my expectation is wrong or yeah. Anyway. I think uh, Dave on e, uh, from EV Blog has already played that game, so maybe I don't have to do that. Here you see my laptop, which shows the basically the live picture when I move the glasses around. Then you see here on the monitor the display and. Uh, yeah, I think the resolution that it uh, asks you for when this demo starts, that's the resolution on the monitor. I think the glasses are always using 720p resolution. So that's a bit misleading to, uh, you know, ask the user to select a graphics resolution. Somehow you expect that it impacts the projection, but it doesn't. Okay, so that is the one, uh, demo. Um, I don't know. I think I have one arm. Uh, I'm lacking one arm in order to play this now and show you, but I think, uh, yeah. I think you already get an impression here when I'm moving around here, how the head tracking is really absolutely flawless. Okay, and this is the second demo. Um, and you can see this uh, game or demo was not optimized for the XE port size because when I move my head up you see how the projection more or less stops uh, uh, or the field of view uh, stops so it's not uh, really designed for the big board. Um, another thing that you can see is when you go closer then uh, obviously the field of view gets uh, lower but your projection area is concentrated on a smaller area so you basically can get closer to uh, and then you see more details yeah and if you lean back again then the available resolution of the projectors have to fill the complete game board and then things get a bit blurry. So if you are used to full HD or 4K gaming, then this uh, might not be what you expect. I'm not trying to, you know, diss or complain here because I mean, it's a freaking miracle uh, designing a 720p micro projector and doing uh, stereo uh, imaging here, but uh, I'm just saying, yeah, if you're used to Full HD or 4K, then this uh, will maybe not be up to your expectations. Okay, I managed to start the SDK demo project. And I'm here in the test panel demo. And I must say uh, the amount of effort and work that went into 
controls uh, is probably as big as the amount of effort that went into the projection. So it's really, it's, that's really stunning how well that works. Let me see again, I'm running out of hands, but here we have the wand. And as you can see, this uh, yellow ball is attached to my wand and you can basically, uh, yeah, it, it follows the tip of the wand more or less seamlessly over the uh, game board. And then when, when you, you are over one of these controls, you just press the button and can flip the controls. I think this works absolutely fantastic. I know that my video is crap because I basically would need, uh, I think, two more camera stands to mount, mount it properly, but I think you get the idea, yeah? Here we have the, the wand and the tip is tracked and I think, yeah, there is something in the tip because when I cover the tip, see, now the glasses can't can't see the wand tip anymore and the tracking of the ball stops and when I take my uh, finger away then it's uh, picked up again. So that is really, really amazing. Let me try to get into another demo. Let's see, tracking object, what? So basically this demo shows um, all the different ways you can control the scene and control uh, can put a custom UI in your game. So let's see, want tracking. Yeah, that one is also very impressive. You know, basically the same principle. We have a ball attached to the tip of our wand and then you can basically hit hit the ball uh, like you're playing I don't know drums or so yeah you see you can hit these demo balls and they change color it's really <laughs> it re really is, is, is a lot of fun I think all the UI controls work uh, absolutely brilliant so uh, game designers can really do some nice stuff and also here those demos work much better than the you know 3d adventure because obviously yeah this is geometric shapes and uh, it doesn't really matter if the resolution is not super high and if you're wondering uh, why the color sometimes looks odd that's just my me filming very crappy so when I get the angle wrong then some, sometimes you get here a rainbow effect. That's just because I have a very very bad way of filming this. Okay so I think uh, now I would need some tips. What is a, a good game for this system? What I should try? Usually uh, enjoy you know, adventure or point and click things um, but I think those might suffer from the resolution problem again but yeah right I think we wrap it up this video when I after I've cut it is probably already over 10 minutes long but I think you got a first impression but yeah so the summary for me uh, graphics resolution could be higher. Maybe in a few years we will get full HD micro projectors. Completely understand that we are already at the limit of what can be done today. Um, and the controls and the work that uh, got into the wand and the, the GUI is absolutely amazing. So really that is uh, that will be a, be a lot of fun to play games where you can use the wand to control the game board. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, until next time. Bye.